So I'm back out at the Red Agate site again today, and uh, I've actually been out here for a day already with a friend. And we did a little bit of exploring around here and found some nice little agates, but yeah, I found my first handful for this morning, so I'll give you a little look at those, and uh, I'll kind of share some finds that I found yesterday too, just to catch you up. Well, you can see some of the red agates that I've been finding there. They kind of vary from like a pink all the way up to like a deep red. Then there's some red jasper and some clear calcidney, which is pretty much in every agate spot. Yeah, I really like the red agates that come out of here and I really want to find some that I can put into some jewelry or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'll probably be exploring the beach for the first part this morning. And then I want to go back and see if I can find some of those red and purple agates that I found in the hard rock. So, yeah, hopefully we'll find some of those too. But it'd be nice to find some of these little red ones off the beach. I find the best red ones come off the beach and then the ones up higher, they're a little bit different and they have more character to them. But yeah, they're just not as deep red as what you find on the beach here. So yeah, we'll take a look around and see what you can find today. That one's got a fairly nice size to it. Looks like it had druzy on top at one point, but it was all worn down in the action of the water. Still pretty cool. It's a sugar I get. So not like uh I don't know if it would be technically calcidney, but yeah, still pretty cool. Nice piece of red jasper there. Looks like it might even have some hematite in there. Little stringers of it. You get that every once in a while on the jaspers around here, but not all of them have it. I'm trying to get around these trees here so I can get to that point out there. So I found a little spot right on the shore here where there's some red agate that's exposed. But it looks really crumbly so I'm probably gonna leave it. But it's just pretty cool to look at. I really like how it contrasts with the black basalt, but yeah, it'd be awesome to find a big seam of that stuff. 
but I haven't seen anything like that so far. This stuff here is just calcite. That's mostly what's in this uh, rock here. But yeah, there's not very much agate in this stuff. It's mostly just calcite. And then every once in a while, you'll come across the little nodule that's agate. piece has some pretty nice banding in it. Hopefully you can see that there. Yeah, not too bad. Really deep red one. I'm not sure exactly what causes the red color. If it's like maybe some kind of iron like hematite or I don't know, it's kind of interesting though. It's almost like little tiny inclusions that cause it, but I don't know. A little piece here that I was trying to turn into quartz crystals but I don't know if they fully formed like that one looks like it might have kind of neat yeah it's just a quartz seam so it could have formed in anything really Kind of cool. Looks like a, I don't know, just a quartz filled nodule. Doesn't seem to have any banding on the outside, but still pretty neat. I think I'm going to take it. Once I slice this side off, it would probably have a pretty nice window in there. Thank <laughs> you. 
So the last time I was out here, I noticed that this band right here tends to hold most of the agates. Just little small ones, and like in between it, it's all calcite, but it tends to hold the most agate out of all this material that I've seen. And then there's this little bump right here that holds some pretty big nodules, but they're like half calcite and half agate. So you get some pretty interesting mixes in there. But yeah, I really like the stuff that comes out of that band though. So I'm probably gonna try and go up there and knock some of that down to see if I could, what I could get out of it really. Without even looking through what's fallen on the ground yet, I've already found some pretty decent sized pieces. And uh, yeah, I'm seeing a bunch on the ground already. Let's see, this one here, that's probably the biggest that I pulled out of this seam. Not a bad size. Looks like it might have quartz on the inside too, so that might be interesting. But. Yeah, let's pick through here and see what we can find. You can see a bit of the red in this one. It's like a, I don't know, it's got some red in it. And then I just saw another one up here somewhere. There's one, there's a little one. So they're just all over the place in here. Just have to move stuff around and Look through it. There's a nice one. Looks like it might have water line in it. Or water level banding. Yeah. Well, I think I'm about done for today. I got this whole side scraped off and there's a decent pile of agates in this bag. Not quite enough for a tumbler, but definitely, definitely good for a few hours here anyways. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I'll be back sometime this year, but I don't know if that'll happen. There's definitely lots to be dug out of here, so yeah, I hope to come back. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of patterns and colors come out of these once they're all tumbled up. <laughs>